So we've been talking in this playlist about uh, record types and recall that for this one we have a record type 1 and a record type 2. If we look at it, we're looking at the record type 2 here. What we're seeing is the sales process. Uh, if we look, what I've done is to make a change to the uh, process 1. And what I've done is to add the sales path. It's now called path settings. Uh, but what you'll see is a little twisty here. Um, that turns it on and off and again if we go here you're seeing it's missing so what we'll do is we'll build it out for the other one but I wanted to show you is 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 the way this thing works is if you if you turn it on uh, there are fields you can up to put up to four fields here uh, and then remember you've got the compact layout which is going to kind of not be changing but see this is showing up actually on the activity uh, so this is information that is, uh, is is really valuable real estate here. And the idea is is that you can provide this. These are just some 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 sample questions that I threw out there. You can put out there a, a, a link to a site. You can put some reminder messages. This is really where, as a sales manager, you've got an opportunity to help reinforce conversations that you've been having with the team. Uh, if you flip to the comp, the qualifications, you can say okay. Uh, there are some fields here that need to be filled out. We need to know what the current generator is uh, for this construction company, or we need to have a description of, of kind of what this opportunity is about. This is the next step that we had. And what you can see is, is, is I, I not, uh, if we go over and look at this one, we don't have any guidance for that. Uh, so it only shows up when you actually have information in the field, which is great. Uh, so let, let's just get a, take a quick look at how we set this thing up. Uh, and what you do is, is you, if you go out to, um, to settings and setup, and you do a look up on path, you see path settings. And here, uh, it, th this should probably be, it'll, it'll probably show up like this when you get started. It says, do you want to enable or disable it? We're enabling. And do you want to remember uh, the path preferences? And you want to check this uh, unless just because that allows people to, um, you know, if they turn it off, they don't have to jump in at each time, but it does remember what they did last. Um, and so if, if what we do is, is we're going to, and I, I'm just, you know, jumping here to, uh, if we click on um, a, a new path, and what, what that does, it allows us to identify a path name, an API. Um, we can go after an opportunity record or we can uh, object, or we can we can put any object we care to here. Uh, we can say, all right, we've already done record type one because we just saw that, right? So I'm going to do record type two, and I can add it to any pick list. So this is a, a really significant way to think about it. We're going to continue going with stage, but any object can have this. I'm going to say next, uh, and it's going to say, oh, you have to enter a path name. Okay, that's right. So I'm going to say this is a this is a simple sale process uh, sales sales and got to do that so it's nice to keep us in track uh, and then we can say let's add a field and I'm going to add in here uh, again let's put in there this is a quick one here let's just put in next step just because I like that I think that's really important to make sure that you you have that very visible to know if you have a next step. Um, and then you can put in here just a, a sample text, right? Um, just so we've got something there. I'm going to say, uh, this is for prospecting. We could do this for each one and you'd add it in uh, kind of as you go. Uh, but I'm going to say next and I'm going to make this active and I'm going to say finish. And what that allows me to then do is when, I, when it comes up, it's going to show me exactly what path settings I've set up. And I now have a complex and a simple, which I could edit and change as I need to. If I now go back out to my path and I do a refresh, uh, what it's going to do is it's going to say, um, you now have information out there. You can do a, you know, I can twist this down, right? Um, and what I'm going to get is this is the information we're looking for. So. That's working. So now we can go on to the fun step of actually building a new record type.